<sighs> I rarely film videos because I feel like it takes so much setup and like no matter what I do I feel like I look ugly. <laughs> so that's a thing. I have the wide angle lens on because I thought it would make things look better but uh Nothing can make this look better, apparently. I want to make more videos more often. If I'm going to do that, I feel like I need to just care less about what I look like and the like quality of footage. But those are the main things stopping me. So I think I just want to make some chill videos more often because videos uh, are better than no videos so maybe I'll try that and just become okay with the fact that my videos suck and then they'll get better uh, that's the entire goal I had for this year was to just accept that I suck at things and do them anyway so <sighs> yeah I should do that I actually vlogged every month last year but um, I just haven't edited any of those vlogs and also uh, I think I might wait until I'm at like a really good point in my life and then go back and look at that footage because that was the worst year of my life and I documented all of it so yeah that'll be interesting um, let me know if you are interested in seeing that I'm not sure I'm ready to go back and face the old emotions that I had so I kind of want to wait until I'm like feeling really stable and happy and be like oh yeah I was starving that year because I lost my job and I felt like I was going crazy most of the time so yeah it's not really stuff I want to remember but I documented all of it so I might as well do something with that footage pretty much the only good angle <laughs> I can do holding this camera is like when I'm lying down so yeah, Kesha's new song came out and I listened to it like five times and I've cried every single time. I watched a really good interview with her. I'll link it down below. It's really inspiring. Um, if you're a musician or any sort of like artist, I highly recommend listening to it. It's just like, it was really good. So I will link that down there. I'm really happy that she's back. I miss her a lot and she's been through a hell of a time if you don't know about that like you can go research it it's like she went through really horrible shit with her producer who's like sexually abusing her so yeah that was horrible but like she seems like she's in a really good place now so that's good and i'm really excited for her new album so yeah i have this light on my camera i think i have to figure out how to turn it on yeah Whoa. Maybe I should have had that on the whole time. I look like I'm in a music video or something. I was actually gonna record something for a music video like a few weeks ago, but it was already late and I would have to do my makeup and then record it and I was just too tired to do it. So I should have just done it because I like I set up the lights and everything and I like was in my like outfit that I was gonna wear for it. I should have just done my makeup and recorded it, but I was lazy and I didn't do it. So in the future I should just do things that I am planning to do. So that is lesson for the ages. This hair needs to just go back there. My camera cut off the part where I was talking about watching anime, so Apparently my camera is judgmental of me watching anime. You know what? I do what I want. I have tea waiting for me. Wow, let's do camera angles and like go over here. Oh. It's a raspberry zinger. It's a good, I was gonna have some Earl Grey, but I already had a cup of black tea today and I don't think I need two cups of black tea because I already felt like I was gonna have a panic attack and just freak out. 
after the PG tips I had, which is very good, but I think I needed some more protein before drinking that. Okay, where am I putting this? Holding the camera up right like that is way too stressful on my tiny little noodle arms. Okay, bring my fabulous camera angle back. <sighs> I really want to make uh, anime reviews. I talked about this in my goals video. I started scripting one review for an anime movie I watched because I've been just like randomly watching anime movies that I've never seen or heard of, which has been really fun. Like I highly recommend that to just like watch random like anime or shows or whatever that you've never seen or heard of because you have like no judgment going in and it's really fun. I remember when I saw How to Train Your Dragon I hadn't seen any trailers for it and I went in knowing nothing and I enjoyed it a lot. I think going into movies not knowing anything is really refreshing and I think it should be done more often. So yeah I've been watching a lot of anime movies and anime, which uh, brings me to what I was talking about. I have two episodes left of Revolutionary Girl Utina. I've been watching that the past week or two or three. I started watching it last year and uh, I got to episode 14, I think, where you find out something bad and I couldn't handle it. Um, but now this year I am finishing it and I'm dealing with the bad stuff a bit better this time. Yeah, I was saying before I got cut off by my camera, I think I'm actually more bothered by the stuff in Utina than I was by the stuff in Berserk. And uh, Berserk is known for being like really heavy and like intense. So that kind of says something about Utina, but it is really good. It's a really good series and I love the way the story is told. It is really brilliant, but just know going in that there's some friggin messed up and dark shit in it and uh, yeah, just be prepared for that. And if you are not prepared for that, don't <laughs> watch it. <laughs> like, just don't. I'm actually, I have the first two volumes that I'm buying for my sister. I still need to pay her for them. Uh, yeah, that's a thing, but the manga is different from the anime. I'm not sure how different it is because I've only read the first two volumes, but it's interesting and I like it. I really like the art style. I've been really getting into shoujo. I kind of really have wanted to make my own graphic novels for like a long time, but like I've just been so discouraged by my shitty drawing skills <laughs> that I haven't done it but I really actually want to do that and so I I've been copying some like frames and stuff from here and I also have the first two volumes of Sailor Moon so I never really went through the phase where I just copied s stuff from manga like I've never actually done that I think because I felt too ashamed <laughs> But I was like, drawing manga style in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I'm actually gonna just like go through and like copy frames from it. Also I need to study anatomy, but YOLO, you know, whatever. Whatever comes first, you just do the thing. <sighs> I should stop talking. I think I'm gonna go now because uh, I always feel like everything I say is boring and I never know how long I should make things and every time I make a video I feel like oh that was dumb <laughs> I should delete it <laughs> but I don't delete it which is good maybe because people seem to like them for some reason uh yeah let me know how you're doing and if I should make more of these which I will whether you think I should or not because um, I kind of like just talking to the camera about nothing and having it be a bit more chill than setting it up on a tripod because I feel like I have more freedom creatively and just with my words to just record in a really like nonchalant crappy way so yeah
拜。